Hi, welcome to this channel. So today we have this nice Olympiad question here. This is Chinese math Olympiad question. So let's get started. So we have 81 exponent sine square x plus 81 exponent cos square x is equal to 30. All right. So let's write our solution. Remember the question again. 81 exponent sine square x plus 81 cos square x is equal to 30. Okay. So I'll start by changing this 81 to an index form. So 3 exponent 4 will give us 81. Therefore, this will be 3 exponent 4. All power sine square x plus the same thing 3 exponent 4 all power cos square x and this is equal to 30 okay so from the law of indices let's say we have a exponent m or exponent n this will be a exponent m n we just multiply the exponent so i'll have here to be 3 exponent 4 sine square x plus 3 exponent 4 cos cos square x and this is equal to 30 okay. So, we have this identity in trigonometry that this is sine sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Then cos square x is equal to 1 minus sine square x. This is an identity. In trigonometry all right so we're going to apply this identity here so this is the cos square s so in place of cos square x I will put 1 minus sine square s there so I'll have 3 x point 4 sine square x plus 3 x point 4 into brackets 1 minus sine square x and this is equal to 30 okay so i'll have 3 exponent 4 sine square x plus 3 exponent 4 minus so i just multiply this 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times this will be minus 4 sine square x and this is equal to 30 okay so we have this law in indices that and i have a exponent m minus exponent n minus m this is equal to a exponent n divided by a exponent m this identity or this law is in indices so you're gonna apply it here because here is minus exponent 4 minus 4 sine square x so i'll apply this identity here and i'll have 3 exponent 4 sine square x plus 3 exponent 4 divided by 3 exponent 4 sine square x and this is equal to 30 so let's let's see a variable represents we have sine square x sine square x so let a certain variable represent let's say 3 let me write let 
u be equal to 3 exponent 4 sine square x because you have 3 exponent 4 sine square x and the same thing is here so we can replace it by one variable or a certain variable okay so i'll have if this is u it will be u plus and 3 exponent 4 is 81 so 81 and here will be divided by u and this is equal to 30 okay so i'll cross multiply and i'll have u squared u times u u squared plus 81 is equal to 30 u since here is exponent 2 so i'm getting something like quadratic equation so i will send this 30 u to this side of the equation and i'll have u squared minus 30 u plus 81 and this will be equal to zero okay so i'll solve for the values of the two factors of this quadrant so from here i'll look for two numbers such that when i multiply i will get this 81 but when i add them I will get negative 30. So I will let you for that those numbers. And I have, I know that when I multiply, let's say negative 27 by negative 3. This one, will, so negative 27 times negative 3 will be 81. And negative 27 plus negative 3 will be negative 30 so this numbers i'll use these numbers to do that so i'll have u squared minus 27u minus 3u plus 81 it is equal to zero okay so i'll group it i'll group this one okay and i'll have from here u is common here so i'll factorize u here and i have u so u times u will be u that squared minus 27 and negative u 3u plus 81 so negative 3 is common now half u minus 27 and this is equal to zero now half u minus 3 u minus 27 and this is equal to zero so put that rule this says that u minus 3 is equal to zero or u minus 27 is equal to zero so if u minus 3 is equal to zero it means u is equal to 3 here or u is equal to 27 this side all right but u isn't the actual variable that we are looking for we replaced u to a certain number. So let's come back. We let u to be equal to we let u to be equal to three exponent four sine squared s. So in place of u, you put three exponent four sine squared s there. And I'll have three exponent four sine square x to be equal to the first one three so let's deal with the three first this one first all right if so then i can easily divide i won't divide because i have this the uh, the base here is three and this one is three so this is seven exponent one so okay i won't divide so i just equate the exponent according to indices the loss of indices all right if the basis are the same just equate the exponent so i'll have four sine square x to be equal to one so i'll divide through by four so i'll have sine square x is equal to one over four here is two so i'll introduce square root so square root of sine square x is equal to square root of 1 over 4. I've introduced square root here, so I'll be plus or minus. 
and this square will cancel this square. Now half sine x to be equal to plus or minus one over two. All right. So let's put it here. We can go on to solve using the radiant in the. the so the other u was u equals 27 and we know that u is equal to 3 exponent 4 sine square x and this is equal to 27 okay so here we have 27 so i can change this 27 to an index form now i have 3 exponent 4 sine square x to be equal to 3 exponent 3 since i have the same base I will equate the exponent and the exponents are 4 sine square s and this is equal to 3 and I'll divide through by that so I'll have sine square s to be equal to 3 divided by 4 then I'll square both sides so root of sine square x is equal to root of 3 over 4 and I will introduce my plus or minus. Okay. So this square will cancel these roots. Now I have sine x to be equal to plus or minus root 3 divided by 2. And the second one is here. Alright. So we have <coughs> two factors. That's sine x is equal to plus or minus through 3 equals divided by 2 and the second one is sine x equals plus or minus half we can go on and use the gradient or draw to identify the real values of x but in this video i won't go further i will so end here can you subscribe to this channel share and like the video you can also send me a question and i will try it for you Thank you.